In search of preventative strategies against COVID-19, a study done by a group in University of Lethbridge in Alberta, Canada, found that certain cannabis sativa extracts could be used in treatments to prevent infection with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Actually, this isn't the first time cannabis has been investigated as a prevention and treatment strategy for a coronavirus. Earlier studies have been done regarding the coronavirus that causes severe acute respiratory syndrome, which caused an outbreak in 2003. But having said that, don't think to up the cannabis intake in the hopes of preventing or treating COVID-19 infection. Because smoking more cannabis is likely to put people at a greater risk of infection, as it causes serious threat to those who smoke tobacco or marijuana. Similar to other respiratory pathogens, SARS-CoV-2 is transmitted through respiratory droplets. SARS-CoV-2 was first isolated from human airway epithelial cells. It uses receptor-mediated entry into the human host via angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 that is expressed in lung tissue as well as oral and nasal mucosa, kidney, and the gastrointestinal tract. The cancer genome atlas and functional annotation of the mammalian genome cap analysis of gene expression datasets revealed that angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 is expressed in oral mucosa and is enriched in the epithelial cells of the tongue. Hence, angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 expression in oral, lung, and intestinal epithelia may constitute important routes of SARS-CoV-2 entry into hosts. Similarly, numerous studies have reported high levels of angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 in the lower respiratory tract and higher levels of angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 expression seen in smokers and patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 involves in lowering the blood pressure by catalyzing angiotensin 2 to vasodilator angiotensin. Angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 is a promising drug target for cardiovascular diseases. Modulation of angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 levels in these tissues may prove a plausible strategy to decrease disease susceptibility. These strategies ought to be accessible, easy to use, and, ideally, should fall into the generally regarded as safe category. Cannabis sativa, especially one high in the anti-inflammatory cannabinoid cannabidiol, has been proposed to modulate gene expression and inflammation, and is under investigation for several potential therapeutic applications against cancer and various inflammatory diseases. In the study we mentioned earlier, to analyze the effects of cannabis sativa on angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 expression, the extracts of 22 novel cannabis sativa lines were used to treat it oral, intestinal, and airway tissues that were previously treated to induce inflammation. At the end of this study, they have found that some lines of cannabis sativa successfully down-regulate the gene expression of angiotensin-converting enzyme. Not only that they also found that serine protus, which plays an important role in the SARS-CoV-2 infection by priming the viral spike proteins and allowing the SARS-CoV-2 entry into host cells, was affected by cannabis sativa. Therefore, cannabis sativa seems to have an encouraging effect on lowering the risk of COVID-19 by lowering the renin angiotensin converting enzyme in high-risk tissues. And it is important to keep in mind that there is a possibility to treat COVID-19 with cannabis only by treating with them and not by smoking it. <laughs>